Hi guys, so I'm going to solve this uh, problem 5.7 of the Morris Mono, which is the end problem. Here you are given the sequential circuit, which is composed of the full adder and the D flip flop. And you can see here two inputs X and Y. Uh, and finally, uh, only one output, which is the S, is present right here. The carry width of this full adder is acting as the input or acting as a driving input of this D flip flop and its output is actually acting as the carry in for this full adder circuitry fine and here you can see a clock signal present as well in order to analyze the operation of this particular sequential circuitry what you have to do you have to construct the state table and finally the state diagram for it fine so starting uh, with the m is equal to where m represents the number of flip-flops since m is equal to 1 in this case and inputs are n is equal to 2 so we know that for m flip-flops and n number of inputs we will have 2 raised to power m plus n number of rows in the state table which is equal to 8 in this case fine Okay, I have already written the present state as the Q of this flip-flop. Then here are two inputs X and Y. Fine. And from these uh, output of the flip-flop and the inputs, we have written eight possible rows or eight possible combinations of the binary numbers. Then the next state you can see in the circuitry is actually the carry of this full adder okay so whatever the c out would be will be determining the value of the next state of this flip-flop or the sequential circuitry so simply similarly you can see the sum function which is written right here for the full adder the sum function is equal to the XOR of its first input which is the x then y XOR and finally you will XOR it with Q. So this is the Boolean function expression for this XOR for the sum function. Similarly, the carry function which is equal to the next state of the flip-flop, it can be written as XY plus X into Q plus Y into Q. Alright. Or simply, I will just perform the 3-bit addition and in this way I can determine the values of this carry and sum. Since 0 plus 0 plus 0 doesn't generate any carry, note the sum is equal to 0 and, uh, and sum is equal to 0. Similarly, 0 plus 0, sum 0, carry 0, 0 plus 1, sum 1 and carry is equal to 0. In this way, I will fill these two columns. So you can see I have filled this state table just using the functionality of the odd function of XOR since XOR is an odd function so whenever I add I was having the odd number of ones at the input side the output generated equal to 1 okay the next step is to draw the state diagram from here as you can see we are having only two possible states either the flip-flop can produce 0 or it can produce one okay so let's see how does it work so being in the zero state we will go to the next state zero or it will loop back fine for the input zero zero when the input is zero zero so input is written first and then after the backslash i write down the output which is equal to s in this case and it's zero similarly again in the zero state you are going into the zero state again for the input 0 1 so I will write input 0 1 and with the backslash output is equal to 1 then on next being in the zero state you will move to the zero state again for the input 1 0 so for the input 1 0 you are going again into the reset state giving the output equal to 1 fine and then in the last being in the zero state you are moving to the state one with the for the input combination one one giving the output equal to zero 
all right so being in the one state or in the present state if the present state is one you will go to the next state zero so you will go to the next state zero for the input zero zero giving the output equal to one <coughs> sorry similarly if you are in this state one you will go to the next state one or the loop back for the input zero one and giving the output zero being in the one state you will go to one and then again one for the input one zero one zero and one one giving the outputs for the one zero you are getting the output zero and for the uh, input one one you are getting the output equal to one so this is the state diagram of this particular sequential circuit thank you for watching